Hello everybody, Andrew Productions here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Legacy Collection, Alan Grant. Now, I am so happy to finally have an Alan Grant figure. It's taken me so long, so freaking long, and I'm so happy that Mattel's done this. Um... And it's just amazing. I love what they did with Legacy Collection, where it's like... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, just say pizza. Um, where it's like, all of them come with, like, uh, here's Muldoon's uh, compi. All of them come with, like, their own compies. Like, Ellie Sattler comes with a compi. Ian Malcolm's gonna come with a compi, you know? I still don't have Ellie Sattler. I was really hoping to get her. Because she has the best likeness out of all of them. Um... Uh, and, um, but, yeah, let's just get into him. So, this is probably my favorite figure out of all of them. Not gonna lie. I like Muldoon, but he just doesn't look like Bob Peck. And, uh, this looks like Sam Neill. You can't tell, but it looks like Sam Neill. Exactly like Sam Neill. So, um, yeah, let's just start off with the box. Hold on, Alan. Let's start off with the box here. You got this uh, really, really bad rendering of the T-Rex. It's like the Jurassic World merchandise T-Rex. which really looked very, very bad. I wish they would have used the Fallen Kingdom render of the T-Rex. It looks so much better. Um, yeah, there's like... Um, it's like that... Um, it's like the Jurassic Park 3, like the new Blu-ray. The coloring for that, but it's... Uh, and then you can see it down there. It says Legacy Collection. Yeah, the gates... Um, and you got Alan Grant. Um, you have a, um, very, very, um, like, odd-looking shot of Alan Grant with all of the compies and his flare gun right there, you know, you got a picture of Alan Grant right there, Alan Grant again, Legacy Collection logo, more of the fire and the gates, tell logo. Um, all this legal stuff and the universal logo. And, um, a barcode. Um, I don't think that you can use that, but hey, maybe, maybe you can. And the bottom, and, uh, yeah, just, um, just very nice. And it's got, like, this bl nice blue haze. I like this. This is probably the really good thing that I like about it. But, yeah, um, let's get into the figure now. Um, so, what should you start off with first? Um, uh, you know what, let's... Let's look at his, uh, flare gun first. Let's look at his flare gun first. So, this is probably one of the least things that I really cared about in the Legacy Collection. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't really care. This is like a JP3 thing, this is- And it's the Jurassic Park Alan Grant, so... Not too sure why they gave him the flare gun. I guess they couldn't really find a weapon to give him. Cause- cause they already gave the spaz shotgun to Muldoon. So... Yeah, um... But, um, yeah, it's sort of, it's very hard. Like, uh, the other weapons have been, like, very flimsy, but this is, like, really hard. <laughs> um, seems like shotgun, too. Um, and, um, yeah, it's just sort of like a flare gun, you know. Flare gun design. Um, next we're gonna look at the copy. Very nice, this is, like, really cool. Um, this is probably my least favorite copy out of the ones that I got. I got this one. Um, but it, the one thing that I don't like about it is that his mouth's closed, so it just looks weird, like it's hugging him, <laughs> like it's hugging Alan. So, um, yeah, that looks pretty weird, but, um, eh, whatever. And, um, you, as you can see, as you can see right there, you can attach him onto them, just like that, because it's, because the compies are very rubbery, you know. Um, so, yeah, very nice, very nice thing. Um, let's look at Alan now. Now, I guess you could say that this is the new off-color Alan. Because it's not, like, the exact same colors. Like, this blue should be way darker. This is, like, a baby blue. Um, you guys can't tell. But his pants are, like, greenish. Like, uh... Almost like a... Like, um... Like, brownish green. Almost. It looks pretty weird. Um, his belt. Yeah, his belt buckle. It seems like they were... Try Seem to paint it, but then it just stopped halfway. No, no, no. I will say, another thing about this thing is that its hands, like this, his forearms, are like, feel like they're the cheapest. They're very rubbery, and I don't really know. If I look at Chris Pratt's hands, they're like very hard. But these ones are like very, very rubbery. I don't know. I don't know if that's better or if it's 
worse. And you got this, like, line that you probably can't see right there. Yeah, can you? No, you can't. Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It looks just like Sam Neill. I have to say that. It looks just like Sam Neill. Got blue eyes, you can't see. Um... And, uh, yeah, it's got, uh, yeah, you got this, like, numbering, uh, sort of, on, on his butt cheeks, yeah. Um, nice folding, and foldings in his, uh, thing. I much would have preferred him to come with a flare. I know that Ian Malcolm already comes with a flare, but, yeah, I wouldn't mind having two flares. There were two flares in the movie, so why not? Um, he stands fine. He's, he stands pretty good. Um, so let's get into articulation. He has the best articulation in the head. I will say, he has the best range, so it can go down that far, up that far, sideways that far, other side that far, and full 360 rotation. Uh, here we go with the interrupter stuff again. Full 360 rotation! Um, you have a uh, shoulder joint that goes upwards that far, and downwards that far, as well as full 360 rotation. You have um, elbow joints that go Upwards that far, about 90 degrees, and sideways that far, about, I don't know, and full 360 rotation as well. Um, oh dear, I'm dislocating his arms. Yeah, but full 360 rotation. Nothing at the waist! Either mine has like a really hard waist joint, or I don't think he just, I, I just think that he doesn't have our waist articulation. I don't know why he doesn't have waist articulation. Seems like I should. Maybe I just got a weird one. Um, let me know in the comments if you, um, can you can people please tell me in the comments of this video like if you just have the same like waist thing I don't know um, you have insert molded legs which go um, outward upwards that far and downwards that far as well as <coughs> um, they go forward that far and backward that far it's pretty good pretty good range um, you get knee joints which go backwards that far, uh, a little over 90 degrees, and forwards that far, as well as full 360 rotation. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, this is Alan Grant, and um, uh, out of 10, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I would give him a 9. He is great. There are some things about him that I don't really like, but other than that, you know, it's really, really good. Um, so let's get into some comparisons. So... I don't really have a lot of things to compare them with. Like, I don't have any raptors or anything, so let's just do this. Um, uh, him scaled up next to Endraptor. Endraptor is huge. Um, him scaled up to Rexy. Can't really see right there. Yeah, but that's how big Rexy is next to him. <laughs> Rexy's huge as well. Um, and the RC gyrosphere. Um, and the RC gyrosphere. Um, again, very, very big. So, um, yeah, this is a very good toy. Very, very play compatible. And kids are gonna have so much fun recreating scenes from the original original movies with these guys. You know, they got the Jeep Wrangler and everything. Um, so they're gonna have a real fun time playing with, um, either their Alan Grant, or their Muldoon, or their Ellie Sattler, or their, uh, or their Ian Malcolm, you know, in Wave 2. Um, or their tiger stripe raptor, which I really wanted to get. <laughs> um, you know, it's just very, very good. And, um, yeah, I think that about wraps up, wrap, wraps up everything. So, uh, yeah, this has been Nidra Productions. Please leave like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think about my opinion on this. And what your opinion is on, on this. Um, so, yeah, just sort of, uh... Tell me all that stuff, and, um, yeah. Bye. Ah, yeah!